Hey, this is Warren Redlick, not an in-depth piece, but I just wanted to talk about what it looks like is happening with 4680 cells, Model Y and Semi, and what this means for Cybertruck in the future. What we are seeing is Elon announced, and I'm gonna put this up here, Elon announced that Tesla's 500 mile range semi truck starts shipping this year, Cybertruck next year. Are you ready? Let's go. Semi uses the 4680 cell. We're very confident of that. It needs high, the higher energy density. It needs, this is what it needs in order to get semi to work. There's a huge volume of batteries there, the larger cells, the higher energy density. This is what matters to make semi work. In order to get semi going, they need a significant volume of 4680 cells. They were making a 4680 Model Y in Texas. It appears that they may have stopped making the 4680 Model Y. I have a theory about this. I'd like your feedback. Please let me know in the comments below, but let's get into it. So just, this is a theory. The theory is that Tesla has an adequate supply of batteries of other than 4680 batteries to make as many Model Ys as they can. We just saw this story that BYD is now getting is now supplying blade batteries for Tesla Model Y in Europe and this is probably true in China as well. We also know that Tesla has an ample supply of 2170 battery cells in Texas and Berlin and Fremont. So if they have enough 2170 cells to make as many Model Ys as they can, it doesn't make sense to use 4680 cells to make Model Ys as well. If you're already making as many Model Ys as you can, you can probably produce more Model Ys with 2170 because you have a sufficient supply of cells. So if you free up the 4680 cells you do have and you say, you know what? We can't produce Model Y in volume because a Model Y line running full steam is 250,000 vehicles a year. That's a lot of battery cells. If you can't run the 4680 Model Y line at full steam, you can run it at full steam using 2170s and you can take the 4680s you have and you can put them in semi and start producing semi, start ramping semi when you have a smaller amount of cells. So a typical Model Y has an 82 kilowatt hour pack with 2170. I think the 4680 pack is maybe 70 kilowatt hours, although I think it also might be 80 kilowatt hours. Best guess a Tesla semi pack might be 800 kilowatt hours, 10 times the size of the 4680 Model Y pack roughly. So you gotta use 10 times as many batteries. But this year, they're probably only gonna make about a thousand semis. So if you don't have enough 4680s to make 100,000 Model Ys, but if you do have enough 4680s to make a thousand Tesla semi, then make the semi and you know, you, you, you make as many semis as you can and you've got a lot of room to run if you, if you can still make as many Model Ys as you want with the others. And really, the 4680 Model Y that they were coming out with was not better for the customer than a 2170 Model Y. It didn't have more range than, a, you know, compare it to a long range Model Y, the long range Model Y with 2170 has more range than the standard range Model Y with 4680. So as they ramp production of 4680, at some point they'll be making enough 4680 cells in Giga Texas, in Berlin, at Cato Road as well, but primarily Texas and Berlin, that they'll be able to make volumes of cyber trucks, volumes of Model Ys, and volumes of semis with those batteries. Because when they're producing 200 gigawatt hours a year between Texas and Berlin, that's a lot of battery cells. That's a lot of vehicles. But right now, with a fairly low volume production of 4680, and you know they haven't evolved 4680 to the next level, say, of energy density either, with what they've got now, they've determined we can make a 500 mile range Tesla Semi with these cells, make a thousand of them, get started on making Semi, start delivering this to customers, start displacing diesel trucks from the road, which is gonna clean our air and you know have all kinds of benefits for society, demonstrate a tremendously competitive advantage in the trucking industry. All this is coming, this is gonna be great. So that's my theory. My theory is they don't have enough 4680s to really ramp 4680 Model Y production, but they got plenty of 4680s to start ramping Tesla Semi production. What do you think? Does that sound like a good use of Tesla's, out, a good way for Tesla to allocate the battery cells it has? We've got BYD blade batteries with lithium iron phosphate. We've got CATL batteries with lithium iron phosphate. We've got Panasonic 2170s. We've got LG Chem 2170s. 
use all those cells to make as many model wise as you can if there's enough volume of that and there's a ton of CATL, lithium iron phosphate, and apparently have a big amount. I think there's something like 200,000 vehicles worth of BYD blade batteries. If you've got all that, why not start making semi? And then you can see that path might allow you to start building Cybertruck. And maybe you don't worry about a 4680 Model Y until you don't have enough other battery cells. Because Model Y with the Model Y long range with 2170 cells is already great. And Panasonic is probably going to increase the energy density of the 2170 cell and LG Chem similarly. So you get enough out of Model Y, the demand for it is off the charts as it is. So take the 4680s where they're really necessary, take them into semi and take them into Cybertruck. So Cybertruck is coming next year. The reason Cybertruck is waiting for next year is because that's going to be a high volume vehicle. It's going to need a large number of cells per vehicle, more than Model Y, and it's going to be a higher, much higher volume than Tesla Semi. I think we may see that 4680 doesn't go into Model Y in the future until there's a ridiculously high volume of 4680s. And at that point, it'll probably be a new energy chemistry, a new battery chemistry that's higher energy density, and we'll see a longer range Model Y, maybe with better performance. It'll be the next generation of Model Y. They said they got structural pack, they've got the battery, and it's a good architecture, but they need to optimize it. So maybe they'll make it in low volume and work on making it better, working on making it better, work on making it better. But really, I think it's going to make sense to wait until the next generation of 4680 with higher energy density and the next generation of structural pack where they figured out how to optimize the pack structure, optimize the weight, optimize the cost, that at that point, 4680 Model Y will be a killer and there'll be a ridiculous volume of 4680 cells to put, them, put in those cars. Then the question is, what do you do with the 2170s? What do you do with the 1865 cells? What do you do with the lithium iron phosphate packs? More Model Ys, maybe that's, that's heading into the RoboTaxi model that's coming in 2024. There's a lot of questions there. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Please support this channel on the Locals platform. Check out my other videos. Check out the t-shirts at elonbits.com. And thank you so much for watching.